Hello everyone, Tuo here. So today, I wanted to talk to all of you about the latest news we've received about the future of Tears of the Kingdom. A few days ago, an article by Polygon just revealed that Nintendo, or um, rather the producers, IG Aonuma, oh my god, I said that, <laughs> so weird, but yeah. IG Aonuma has confirmed that there will not be any plans on making DLC for the game. So you can see here, he says, Don't expect the expansive sky surface and subterranean settings of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Hyrule to grow any further. Zelda series producer IG Aonuma says in a new interview that the development team behind Breath of the Wild and its expanded open world sequel has no plans to release new content for the latest Zelda game. And in that interview with Japanese gaming publication Famitsu, Aonuma and Tears of the Kingdom game director Hidden Marto Fujibayashi discussed the future of Zelda and their most recent work, Aonuma tells Famitsu that he feels like he's done everything to create a uh, fun in the world of Tears of the Kingdom and that he and Fujibayayashi are looking for the next fun experience. Aonuma and Fujibayayashi certainly don't rule out returning to Hyrule again for an all new adventure but both imply that whether it's a direct sequel or a brand new Zelda game it will focus on new gameplay mechanics. And what does that mean for us? Well. Just as it sounds, it doesn't mean that there isn't a possibility that in the future they will be making DLC content for it. Cause like they can always come along and change their minds. Cause the game just came out in May of this year, 2023. So who knows, they might change their mind. Having said that, I wouldn't hold my breath for it either. But back to the interview. So they had an interview with Famitsu and they've already confirmed that there will no be no DLC. And... The cool thing is that they actually kind of revealed that they're already working on the next fun experience. So <laughs> it's going to be a new title? I, I don't know. I mean, we don't know yet. But what is this? <laughs> that is so cool. That's surprising that they actually revealed something like that. So they said that they're working on the next fun experience. What I wanted to say is that I wasn't sure if, if this was bad news or not because at the same time, I mean, I love Tears. Tears is like one of the most innovative game of this year. I mean, albeit sharing the same graphics and limitations Breath of the Wild had, but that's not, nothing compared to how great this game is overall with all of the new features, all of the new enemies, the weapon fusion. Yeah, everything about this game was great. But what can they add to make this game better? Them telling us that a new title is coming along oh man that's just a great feeling i don't really care that there won't be dlc for it anymore it's strange because of how good this title is like when breath of the wild came out the game was so good that they decided to do two passes two dlc passes for it but it's just strange how they could make so much money off the the passes for this game but they're just not going that route and they're deciding to just move on for this new game which i strongly believe that is a slight nod from Nintendo, that it's going to be on the new Nintendo Switch. Is it the Switch 2? <laughs> no one knows the name. I don't even think it's, it's going to be called the Switch 2, but I have a feeling, a strong feeling that this definitely has to be for that new Switch console that we will be getting in 2024. I just have a feeling. <laughs> it has to be. Because of this Polygon article, which by the way, I will have links for down below. From August 1st of 2023, some key partner studios already have a dev kit for the new Switch. So it is just blatantly obvious to me now that that is exactly what they're nodding towards. And I think it's acceptable to pull away from creating DLC and place all focus and resources into the next big game that will be on the next big Nintendo console. And I'm all for it. So get your wallets ready. Put in a few extra hours at work to make the big bucks, baby. And prepare to beat those scalpers to purchasing the new console. Oh, and by the way, earlier I said no one knows what the Switch would be called, but actually, I do. It would be called the Switch U. That's right. I said it. Switch U and one for me too would be a cool tagline, I think. Or just Switch 2, you know, like after my name. Damn it, Nintendo. Just name it after me. Just listen to me, Nintendo, and your new console will sell like bath water. Or farts in the jar? I don't know, are those things still popular? But yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe. And there's still a giveaway of 500 subs. If you want to win a copy of Tears of the Kingdom, Elden Ring, or the new uh, Super Mario Brothers Wonder that's coming out in October, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll do a drawing for two lucky winners. Alright, with that, I'll see you guys again. See ya!